Boys and girls, I wonder if Cubby Bear has been able to help someone today. Let's see if he will come and tell us. On the count of three, say, hi, Cubby. Ready? One, two, three. Hi, Cubby. Why, Cubby, why are you out of breath? What have you been doing? I've been busy working with our health club. Let's see. If I remember correctly, you, Timothy, Katie Collie, and Lovey Lamb are all members of the special club, right? That's right. But now we have a new member, Mia. That's great, Cubby. The health club decided to help to stop by the Sweet Apple Bakery to see Timothy's Grandma Lois. That sounds like a yummy place to visit. It sure is. Anyway, she was super busy while we were talking with her. We heard a strange sound. Bzzz. The timer for one of the ovens was going off, letting Grammy know that the pies were ready to come out of the oven. Oh my, an oven is really hot. I hope everyone was safe. Oh, Grammy got the pies out of the oven and set them down to cool. But then we heard another buzzing sound. Bzzz. The pies from another oven were ready to come out. It sounds as if Grandma Lois was really working hard. But if the help club couldn't take the pies out of the ovens, what did you do to help Grammy? We decided we could set the tables for the pie night when everyone comes to the farm to eat pie. Mia set off the plates, Timothy set off the forks, and I put the napkin beside each plate. It sounds as if the help club on Apple Acres Farm is learning how to love others by helping. And you know what else we are learning? What's that, Cubby? We are learning that it is fun to help and serve others. I am so glad that you are learning that lesson. Me too. All this work has made me really hungry. I'm going to go see if there are any slices of apple pie left over from pie night. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, Cubby. I'm glad Timothy, Cubby, and their friends have decided to help others. Can you think of some ways you could help others? How about holding the door open for someone? Picking up something that somebody drops? Being kind to help someone who is sad? When we help others, we are showing them that we love them. When Jesus lived on earth, he loved others by helping them. We are going to remember some of the ways that Jesus loved people, but I will need your help. Whenever you hear this sound, you need to shout out the right word for me. Let's practice with this first picture. God sent his son. Can you say it? Jesus. Jesus is God. He can do anything. One day, Jesus was teaching many people about God. Four men knew that Jesus could help their friend. Something was wrong with his, do you remember what it was? Legs. But the house where Jesus was teaching was crowded. So the men carried their friend up to the, to the top of the house and lowered him into the house through a hole in the, what is it? Roof, yep. Jesus forgave the man's sins. That was the most important thing that that man needed. Then Jesus healed the man's legs. Another time, a man named Jairus came to see Jesus. Please help me, he said. I have a sick little girl. Jesus began to follow the man to his house. But Jesus stopped and said, Someone touched me. 
the person who, ch who touched Jesus was sick. Woman, Jesus said, your faith has healed you. All of the sudden, the woman was better. She was happy. Jairus was sad. His little girl had died. Jesus had said to Jairus, don't be afraid, just believe in me. Jesus went to see the little girl who had died. Jesus held her hand. He said, little girl, arise. Then the little girl stood up. Jesus made her come alive again. On another day, Jesus was teaching many, many people beside the sea. It was dinner time and the people were hungry, but the only food they had were five small loaves of bread and two fish. Jesus thanked God for the food and the disciples passed the food to, to the people. There were more than enough food for everyone. Jesus loved the people. He showed his love by helping others. Cubby, Jesus wants you to love and help others too. How can you show others that you love them? You could tell your parents or brothers and sisters that you love them. You can obey your mom or dad. Help a younger brother or sister. Jesus healed people who were hurt or sick, and he fed the hungry crowds. He even raised people from the dead. But the greatest way Jesus showed his love for people was by forgiving sin. There is only one way that we can have our sin forgiven. We need to trust in Jesus. Our memory verse, Matthew 1, 21, says, Call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Let's say this again. Matthew 1, 21 says, Call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. When Jesus lived on earth, he never did wrong things. But because God loved us, he sent Jesus to die on the cross for our sin. Then three days later, he came alive again. Because Jesus took the punishment for our sin, he has the power to forgive us from our sin. Let's repeat this together. Jesus loves all people. Let's say that again. Jesus loves all people. I am glad that Jesus loves all people, but I am especially glad that Jesus loves and forgives me. When God forgives us, that means God won't be angry at us or punish us for our sin. We will be friends with him now and then forever in heaven. When we are, we are forgiven because of what Christ did for us on the cross. Let's pray. Dear Father God, help us to remember everything we learned today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.